Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, we uh, got an exciting two days here today and tomorrow. Um, today we're we're and tomorrow we're basically going to be putting it all together. So those of that that have been following along from the previous lessons, we've been talking about our sine and cosine, our trade graphs, and uh, we've been talking about they're continuous; they never stop. They're periodic in nature, which means they repeat exactly after a certain given interval that interval is called the period that is called one complete cycle and the frequency is how many times that cycle occurs during a two pi period so what we're going to talk about today is we're going to we're going to use all the features that we've um, learned midline amplitude uh, mins max um, period and frequency we're going to use all those features and what we know about each each graph, the sine graph, the cosine graph, to um, graph them over here on an axis. So what I want to start with is this idea that there are two things we need to do when we're graphing these. And so you probably want to have some scratch paper at some point. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at its features. And these are the things that I'm thinking about for fe features, starting with amplitude, then moving to midline, and also period. And the period is going to be important because the period says the length of time on the x-axis that each graph takes to complete one cycle. So we're going to want to write down the graph's features. After we do that, what we're going to then do, uh, our second step is we're going to plot, oopsie, five points. Now, we, we look at five points because five points gives us one complete cycle. And the five points we're going to look at, there's a way for us to talk about the order. We talked about this earlier. I'm just going to show you this graphic here. So for the sine graph, we use so, ho, lo. Basically, the graph starts at the origin or the midline, goes to a high, through the midline, to a low, back to the origin. Um, and cho, ho, lo has a similar pattern, except it starts high, origin, low, origin, high. So the origins are your midlines. Okay, and then that's one complete cycle. So a little review there. So we're going to plot our five points. And the way we're going to do that on our graph is we're going to, one, we're going to set scale that's on both axes. And then number two, what we're going to do is we're going to use so ho lo or cho lo. And that has to do with whether it starts high or at the midline and, and then it's pattern for one complete cycle. Okay, so exciting. Super exciting. So let's take a peek here. So if we have this graph here, let me see if I can enlarge it. There we go. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger here. Okay, so this is the graph that we want to do. Y equals eight sine five X. So I'm gonna write down some of my features here. The first thing is this eight right here. This eight is our amplitude. The next thing I look for is at the far right hand side is the midline. In this example, the midline is zero or y equals zero. And then the period is not five, but I use the period. So here's a little asterisk here. To find period, we take two pi divided by the frequency. Okay. That's and actually that's the same way we find the frequency. It's, it's identical. Two pi divided by period. So in this case, I have a frequency, which is five. The frequency is five. So I take two pi divided by five. That's my period. Okay, perfect. So I have these attributes here. Now I'm gonna go and um, set the scale. So to set the y-axis scale, I look at my amplitude, it says eight. So I could go by twos if I wanted to. I'm actually just gonna go by one and I can count up eight spaces. You could go by twos, you could go by groups of eight, that's kind of up to you. 
Now the X axis label, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set that according to the period. So this mark right here is gonna be what we're gonna use for a scale on the X axis. Cause we want it to complete one complete revolution in that time. So we go two pi divided by five. Okay, when hit done, now it's gonna resize our graph. The only thing I need to do now is I'm going to start by placing this last, this point right here, the two pi over five. And to set my scale, I'm gonna place that at the fifth mark over, starting at the origin. So one, two, three, four, five. And again, that'll be one complete cycle of the sine curve, okay? And then what I'm gonna do, my midline for this thing is zero, so it's right here on the y-axis. The amplitude is eight, so our high points, our uh, maximums are eights, and our low points are negative eight. And then I just need to take a look at this pattern here for sine. Sine is so holo. So O standing, S standing for sine, O standing for origin. So I'm at my starting value here. I'm going to place a point. So all I do is just use my mouse to click on it. And that place a point at the midline or origin. Now, my next mark, as I move one to the right, for sine is high, which means it goes high. So I'm going to place a mark at the maximum, according to this amplitude of eight, eight units away from the midline. So it's eight up. Now, my next mark over, if I look at this cheater over here is O, origin as in midline. Place a dot at the origin. I'm gonna go now through a low point, low point of minus eight. So I move over one and I go back to the origin. So I use this Soho low as I put my last fifth point here, you can see the curve is connected, okay? After I connect my curve, I am going to hit submit. And voila, let's take a peek here. Yes, I do want to submit it. There we go. Beauty, beauty, Clark. Okay, so I want to show you one other type of problem. I want to show you a cosine curve, same type of steps, slightly different. So let's just take a peek here. Here's a cosine curve. All right, so two cosine 8x. First thing, we're going to be creatures of habit. We're going to go here and we're going to adjust this right here. So for this particular graph, it, the amplitude is two because of the two out in front of it. The midline again is zero. It's on the y equals zero or the x-axis. I think I said y-axis before, my bad. And then it's period. The period is two pi divided by the frequency. In this case, this frequency is eight, it's the number in front of x. So if I simplify that, two goes into eight four times, so this is pi over four. All right, so these are important features. We're gonna use these features to set our graph. It's the cosine curve. So before I set my, well, I'm just thinking about Choholo right here. So I'm gonna set my scale. So my y-axis, I'm gonna set at one. My amplitude is up two, so that's a fairly decent number. And then my x-axis, this is where I use this measurement right here. This is the period. So it's gonna be pi, over four. Okay, I'm going to set these. I'm gonna drag this. I always drag this to my fifth point, starting with the origin, one, two, three, four, five. Remember, we're graphing five points. That's one complete cycle. And then for this example right here, it is cosine. So my um, order is gonna be high origin, low origin, high. Now the origins are your midlines. So to start here, I start here right at the origin, it's going to be high. And the high point, the maximum for this particular graph is two distance away from the midline. Here's the midline, there's two distance away. Boom, there's my high point. Midline or origin. Then we go one more over. Here's my low point down two units from the midline. Back to the midline and ending up here at this high point here. Voila, we have our curve, our scale set, everything's good. I said submit answer, let's just make sure. Yep, all good. So just to review, we're graphing it using these two pieces. One, we wanna make sure we write down these features. 
we calculate the period. After we do that, we set our scale according to the period. And then on our y-axis, we set our scale with our amplitude. One's not a bad number to use. And then we graph or plot our five points according to our definitions of one cycle of each curve. So I want you guys to practice this in Delta Math. We're doing level one today. Tomorrow we'll do level two, a little bit spicier. But uh, until next time, stay clean, my friends. Wash your hands, disinfect your phones, and most importantly, be kind.